Violence against women continues to be a big subject of discussion at most gender-related forums. At the three-day Sadiq Gender Summit held in Johannesburg, South Africa, calls to end gender-based violence came out prominent during the official opening. For the South African Commission on Gender Equality representative, Fanozola Shozi, gender-based violence and the abduction of girls are a source of concern for not only Nigeria, but South Africa as well. We have those uh, issues in, for example, in South Africa. Now we have this mass abduction in Nigeria. Uh, we have Ogutwana, female genital mutilation and so on. Lesotho Gender and Youth Sports and Recreation Minister Teresa John Maserebani said a study conducted on his country revealed that 86 percent of women in the country have been victims of gender-based violence. I therefore appeal to you to advocate widely against all forms of gender-based violence and push for effective policies and legislations that prevent causes of GBV. Mauritius Gender Equality, Child Development and Family Welfare Minister Mirelle Martin observes that gender-based violence affects all the countries in the world. This problem is common to all countries. It's not only one country, but it is every one of us who ought to be concerned and ought to work against this gender-based violence. The three-day gender summit organized by GenderLinks has attracted 350 delegates with Zambia sending 33 representatives. The summit is being held under the theme 50-50 by 2015 and demanding a strong post-2015 agenda. Mwapek Mwenda, Movie TV News, Johannesburg, South Africa.